Look, I don't know why you're blaming me. I don't know anything about a pig's head, how to get it, or what it was doing there. Innocent. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Unboxed. We're going to be talking about three things that mean so much to me. Football, fashion, music. And we're going to see how we get them three different worlds to come together to be one. Welcome to Unboxed. I'm Poet, and obviously, Unbox is a show where we get football, and we get music, and we get fashion, and we find out how they integrate. Like I promised, David Vianic is gonna be in this week's episode, but before we get to that ensemble of madness that is David Vianic, we're gonna just say thank you to all of these wonderful pictures that have been sent in. Here's one image that I particularly love. It's the uh, Air Force One. The all white, but it's been customised. And Mr Billy Cox has not only made it red and white, but he's only gone and put his initials on there. And to top it off, he's got the cannon in the corner. Billy, is there any way in which you can send me some? I can send you my details and I will send you money. I have to congratulate one individual here, and it is Rahel Bat, because it is the perfect example of what we actually want. He's wearing a Madrid top, he's got some cool red shorts, and then he's got these uh, quite nice red trainers with blue laces. A nice ensemble. That's the best example of a picture I've been sent so far. We definitely need the whole outfit in frame. Keep sending your pictures into Unboxed. Raul, thank you so much. You gave us the perfect display of how we would like it done. It's time for a first hero Unboxed. Never had a guest before. This individual happens to be my partner, not just in life, but on Copper 90 in a show called Comments Below. I love him very dearly. Can we please bring the one they call David Vianic? Two, two on box. Truth is, I really didn't want to know Because if I knew, I'd Alright David, I kind of know who you support But please, for the Unbox viewers Tell us who you support Liverpool FC Hard times Alright, can you please uh, bring out your best Liverpool kit? This is Well, I wouldn't say my best Liverpool kit But it's my favourite Liverpool kit You don't have to feel guilt You're not going to bring back Lazarus This is the first Liverpool kit I got as like a kid Okay As a child and... Alright Owen, number 10 at the back. You know, he was like my idol, and I think that's the reason why I support, started supporting Liverpool. It's a special kit, man, because it was the first kit I had as a kid, and you know, when you have that first something mm. that you really want as a mm. child, it's just special, and it kind of, it just touches your heart. So mm. we didn't do nothing in that season. We didn't win anything, but Michael Owen, my, my hero back then, was playing really well, and it was his last season in the kit. But for me, my first kit, love it. That's um, some decent memories from a, a wonderful kit. Now bring out something that you don't particularly like. Bring out your worst kit. Your worst Liverpool kit. Like, I would bring out uh, the new kit, but I don't have it because I think it's absolutely awful. Just the whole thing of being in a warrior kit. What's but this? anyway, this one, it just looks like someone went on paint <laughs> and decided to use the pencil and the graffiti bit. This is like very hipster. I can imagine someone wearing this on a night out being very hipster. However, for colour, it just looks like shit. And then the whole, the whole paint effect, it looks like it's been edited on Microsoft Word. I'm not feeling it. This kit uh, is a bit of a paradox, what I'm going to say. It's so rubbish, I want it. Um, <laughs> do you mind if I have this kit? Go for it, have it. All right, no. please, all you've got to do is just, where can I place it? You open that, and just stare like, so like, oh, if you can see it, there. but you can see it it's is. not really important. So it's just sort of blending in. It's almost like one of them shoelaces. It's like the ugliest kit of the week. Hmm, I thought I'd bring in a bit of comments of the week stuff. Moving on, bring out the second item of clothing that you're going to show us. This, my friend, there's two stories here. Wow. R9. The original Ronaldo. Ronaldo. The Ronaldo that everyone used to love. The first boots I ever had as a kid, and they're a size, they're a UK two. I used to love Ronaldo. Um, for some reason, I cried when Brazil lost the 1998 World Cup. Very emotional times for me being a Serbian supporting Brazil in London. This year, 2013, to commemorate the 15 years from Ronaldo and his um, time at Brazil and the 1998 World Cup, Nike did a re-release of the R9 and I managed to get hold wow. of two pairs um, and we're actually unboxing on Unboxed. The only problem is um, I wanted to buy a pair so I could play in them because I love them and I hate buying stuff and not using it. Fuck the whole commemorative value and who cares? I wanted to play in these but they're not my size. 
I think these boots are amazing, extremely light, and uh, they, look, they look pretty good as well. You look like you're meant yeah, to be four. good in these boots. I mean, if I just met someone and they were wearing these boots, I would like, think, yeah, he's good at football, he's good. 100%. They're, they're, they are perfection, perfection. absolute perfection. perfection. Aesthetically just... The only thing I would say about these boots, do not purchase and wear these boots if you do not have similar ability uh, to Ronaldo. That was item, uh, item two, um, a little bit soft spot for me. Please bring out your third and final item of clothing. You are a hipster. All these accusations you made of me being a hipster are all right. Uh, you know what? I think it was just re reverse psychology. Um, I'll admit it. I probably am a bit of a hipster. Me personally, I love me a bit of a bargain. I love brands that are a bit like undercover. They're very, very talented individuals very at talented. Top Chef. And they make a limited amount of particular pieces. Yep. So there might only be like five of these pieces. So the good thing about Dope Chef clothing is that you're potentially not gonna see anybody else in the clothes you're wearing. They've got a website, so check that out. Um, they also have a store and it's in Tottenham and it's on a boat. So if you want a unique shopping experience, go to the boat and buy some pieces. Bye everyone. See you up. Thank you very much, David, for coming in. Make sure you keep sending in your photos of uh, your three items of clothing. And do the same thing Raul did. Uh, he wore it correctly. So make sure you're wearing your trainers. Hashtag unboxed and at Copper 90. Stay tuned uh, and you'll see us next week with your eyes. Crouchy, I think they're onto us. Go on, send them money, 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 send them money,